the uh, against this team. Let's hear from Jameson Tyone with Meredith. Jameson, after everything you've been through, just how excited were you to get back out there on the mound this afternoon? Yeah, uh, I thought my year was done probably twice here in the last month. I thought after my start against Toronto at home, maybe my year was done. And then after my last start in Toronto, I thought that had the potential to be a season-ending injury. So just to be able to be out there, even if it was just for three and a third, um, I was happy to contribute. What were the nerves like coming into today, knowing the magnitude of this game? Yeah, it definitely felt a little different. Um, I've never been on a playoff team. I've I think the best team I've ever been on was like 82 and 79 or something. So I've never been on a team like this. Um, but, you know, I think this team's extremely battle tested. So it kind of eased my mind a little bit, just knowing that everyone behind me, you have Rizzo at first base, who's won a World Series, and everyone else on this field has been in big playoff situations and stuff. So um, I knew they were backing me up, and that felt good. Were you able, or how were you able to, to kind of harness that extra adrenaline? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've never pitched in a game quite this big before but I've pitched in some big games over the years um, and ever since I was a kid I know it's way different pitching in the big leagues but I've pitched big games since I was 11 12 13 years old and all throughout high school I know it's different but at the same time like I feel like I have some experience in big games of my own and um, I feel like I've learned how to harness the energy a little bit what impressed you about what the bullpen was able to do thereafter yeah I thought I thought we got every matchup we wanted all day I mean we drew it up pretty pretty well um, and it's not really a surprise I mean, you've seen those guys come in in big spots all year and back us up. They've been probably one of the best bullpens in all of baseball. So guys like Greeny, Lowe, watching Clay Holmes come over here and dominate, Chappie in the game. I mean, there's no one else you'd rather want. The Rays have t have pitched the Yankees offense tough all season long. Can you just g describe what it's like as you're watching the innings unfold and still really not a lot to show for the offense? Yeah, it just seems like whenever we play the Rays, I mean, they make every pitch that they have to. Big situation, 0-2 count, they rarely leave like a breaking ball over the middle. They always get it to where it needs to go. Um, you know, those guys have a lot of confidence. They've had a great year. Um, you know, their analytics are extremely good, so they know how to attack our guys. Um, so, not a surprise. Um, and then, obviously, whenever they just mix and match the bullpen and get the matchups they want, it's tough on their end, too. With the roller coaster ride that this season has been, is it almost fitting the way you guys punched your ticket to the postseason high drama all the way around? Yeah, it hasn't been easy all year. Um, you know, we've had a lot of highs, a lot of lows. And I think it's something to, to be said about like veteran leadership. Just these guys just show up every single day. Um, you know, you look to a guy like Gardy, you look to a guy like Judge or Stanton, they, DJ, they just show up every single day uh, like nothing happened the night before whether it was good or bad so I think that sets the tone for everybody else um, so yeah I mean these guys are battle tested they were ready for it you mentioned battle tested but why do you believe that you guys can get it done in the postseason I think we can beat you in a lot of different ways I think we can outslug you we can out hit you I think our starting pitching has been there when we need it to be and our bullpen's one of the best in